guys are doing well and having a great day so far. So, <clears throat> hold on, I'm finished chewing. That's rude. <laughs> Right now I'm about to do this because we have quite a busy day today. I'm take Tristan to his basketball game, the last one of the season. Then I got to go, to, then I have to go to Home Goods. I'm gonna try to go to Ashley and um, what's the other store? At Home, I think those are the only ones we have. And I'm gonna check the Lack store because I'm trying to find a rocking chair for Tristan's, um, not Tristan, Lord. I'm, so, I'm convinced Troy is gonna think his name is Tristan the amount of times I've called him that. So forgive me, boo boo, forgive me. <laughs> so yeah, I need to find a rocking chair for his little corner because I'm still working on it, trying to make it more nursery-like because I told you guys we are in the shared nursery. So as soon as I get it all together, then I'll do like a full tour on his little area. But I need to find a rocking chair for his corner so I can rock him in his, you know, in the rocking chair and put him in his crib. Then, um, I have to go pick up my contacts because I ordered it. So they gave me like the sample, so that's what I'm able to see. Woo. See clearly now, the rain is gone. Okay, okay, sorry. They gave me the samples, but I need to go pick up my pack. So I always get the six month supply. So I need to go pick that up before they close at one. And then I need to get home and clean up because our house is a mess. I don't even show y'all how it's looking. I still need to finish putting up Christmas decorations. And then also I need to prepare for- um, yeah, my kids are eating and I also need to um, prepare for tomorrow. We're going to try to shoot some content because I need to get back in the group because I have been slacking and not being consistent, not putting out the works, but we got to do that. We got to do the work. And because I'm trying to find a healthy balance between my content creation and also my doula business, which I'm super excited. At this point, it's really real because I got my shirts done. Ah! So I'm going to show you guys real quick. We gotta get going, but I wanna show you guys because oh they are so nice. I I put the place down. Um I went to a local stitching shop. I love supporting local businesses that do a great job. And plus they can do it quicker and you know don't you have to wait for it to get shipped. So I got my shirts done. It says wise birth and experience and doula. <laughs> so you know it's real. <laughs> And then my slogan in the back. So I love it. So if you guys see me wearing it all the time, don't judge me because your girl got to market her business, okay? Honestly, I'm like truly passionate about this and getting it going. So if y'all see me wearing it and talking about it a lot, please forgive me. Best people have been sending me messages and comments saying that, you know, my story was confirmation for them to start doing theirs as well, which is touching. I know Doula is still kind of new to some people it's not new people are new to this they true to this but it's starting to become a buzzword that people are starting to know about and i feel like if you have a true passion for helping women especially moms to be on their childbirth journey if god has called you to it he will get you through it and baby he is getting me through it because i'm so excited i'm so excited i got it in white too so that i'm not wearing the same shirts over and over <laughs> So I'm gonna get, um, so I need to get my bags done. So I need to get bags done. I need to get my tag done. Um, Cause I think the bottoms, I'm just gonna wear scrubs. I'm just gonna wear scrubs at the bottom. Sorry, my camera cut off. So yeah, um, well, we have to get going. But yeah, I'm super excited to get those things down. I forgot to say hello and welcome to episode two of the 12 days of Christmas. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to put that at the beginning. I don't know if you guys wanna see like how I go about this journey, but basically I have to schedule some meetings with people to know that I'm here, I'm ready. Um, I wanna try to get some like advertisements outside because I've been using social media, but we gotta get this thing marketed. So I just have this big plan. He's so silly. A partridge in a pear tree. Yes. You so silly. Go get a bottle. Go get some water and your basketball ball. Go get your basketball bag and stuff. Get it ready. But uh, yeah, so I'm super excited to get that ready. And if you guys would love to see me go on this journey, I got this as a, water, okay, go put in your basketball thing. So if you guys want to see the journey on how I do this, let me know down below because I would love for you to bring, I would love to bring you guys along and hopefully it will encourage and inspire my future doulas and childbirth educators to get it going. I had a meeting last week with a mom and the stuff that I just keep hearing y'all, I just, I'm disturbed. Like, I got to do something. I need to make a change and that's what I'm about to do. So let's get out the house kids. Y'all ready? Yeah. All right. And we'll see you guys outside.
We outside! Yeah. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, I'm on the bed. Oh my gosh, y'all. I love this table. I want the bench on like one side or maybe both and then the chair on the ends. But I, I don't know. I've always liked the one-sided bench. The one bench on the side. I like the one side. <laughs> what am I trying to say? The one bench on the side, but I like both. I just want the chairs at the end. I don't know. I love the set though. That's what I'm trying to say. When we move again, we'll look for more furniture. But right now, I need to get this rocking chair so I can return it. So we're here at Ashley, we're at Ashley Furniture. Um, they have this store and then they have an outlet. So I might have to go to the outlet because I'm sure I can find something cheaper. But um, we'll see. Let's see what we can find here. And then I'll have to take the... Um, I just need to get that chair returned so I can get another chair, but let's see. I'm over here to mommy. So this looks nice. Looks comfortable too, but I don't want something huge because his corner is not as big. So I don't want something that's gonna take up too much space. I want something that's comfortable and that can, that's gray or white and that's comfortable and there's no price tag on it so let's see Ooh, look at these prices honey so these are just regular rocking chairs i need one specifically for a nursery just because i know it will look and feel better so let's see let's see Oops. You like that bed? Um, I don't know if we want to do it in this house or wait until we move, but I know we are going to give her a bigger room and I already know the bed I want to give her, I, I want to get it from Pottery Barn Kids or Teens, depending on how much, I don't know, it just depends on which one, but I um, definitely want to get her one of those big beds with the computer, but I don't want to say too much because she will watch my videos. So y'all come over here. Let me ask for help real quick because I don't want to stay too long. that today's vlog was kind of boring and we didn't do much um, well i can't say at least i got everything on my to-do list done before one o'clock because i told you the optometrist um they close at one so i was able to get my contacts yeah. and um so apparently i have astigmatism in both eyes now um before it was just in my this eye but now i have it in both eyes so they gave me a new prescription um, and these are the, so you can see them here. So it says for astigmatism. So your girl gotta get it on her eyes, okay? So I'm happy I got my pack of contacts. So before they close, because I don't wanna just depend on these samples and I end up losing one and I can't see them. And I cleaned up a little bit, but Troy has not been feeling well. He's just been like really, out of it today like he was perfectly fine earlier even a big guy was holding him and he just would not stay with him and he was just really fussy and he, had, he doesn't have a fever but um i don't know he's teething he's been congested because when we went to mcgallan it was cold it was hot and that's how i get sick you know when it's cold and then hot and then the kids just coughing like bringing in stuff like how do you keep an infant from getting sick in these new this new reality of course illnesses and flus and all that have been around but you know with covid and rsv and the flu all this stuff going on all at once it's like how do you protect your baby because it's just to the point like i know i go out a lot with him because obviously i can't leave him at home by himself but sometimes I'm like i don't want to go out because i'm scared of him getting sick and 
like I mean I told y'all we both tested COVID at the same time um he hasn't had RSV thank god not COVID, but you know he's been sick a couple of times because of the kids and you know with Tristan you know he it seems like he gets sick a lot too and he's just bringing it home so it's just like whoa what do you do to keep your kids protected especially a baby you know I hate like keeping them away from each other but it's like look cover your mouth or don't come around your baby brother you know so I don't know I'm just me and a paranoid mom per usual yeah it's like he's just he's just out of it but like I said no fever just mucusy and a little congested so just praying to God that he feels better just been praying over him the evening with Chris of the day will be for one by his stripes we are healed in the name of Jesus hallelujah amen things can change in a minute like I want to do my hair I bought the plumping deep conditioner by melanin hair care you know Whitney um, natural 85 Whitney um, I love her products and I've heard great things about this like, and when I went to Ulta this was the last one on the shelf so it was meant for me y'all but um i wanted to wash my hair because i want to start wearing my hair out more i wanted to put a jet black rinse in my hair because i do want to start wearing my hair out more now that it's growing i just want to wear it out more and take care of it because these wigs i'm that's why i need somebody to do my hair because i'm tired of doing my own wigs because the lace be showing it be flying back i just i'm not good at wigs like i used to be anymore but um but i do want to just see how long my hair is and just start wearing it in this you know natural state of course i want to straighten it too but i want to wear it in this natural state so i thought i was gonna have time to do that i was gonna do my nails i told you i have my uv light and i have my um my gel polishes everything i'm mentioning i'll link it down below in case you're interested in them but um i want to do my gel nails because i took my press ones off but i didn't I've just been focused on him. So I say all that to say, you may have a whole to-do list. You may have plans for your day, week, month, but sometimes it doesn't always go that way. But you have to give yourself grace because it's not it's out of your control. One thing I'm learning to do is not stress over things out of my control. And, you know, unfortunately, my little one, I feel well, is out of my control, but that's my focus right now. And I just want him to feel better. I'm tired. I hate seeing babies sick. So the moral of the story is you can have all the plans in the world for your day, for your week, for your month, but it doesn't always go with the plan, but you can't beat yourself up out of things out of your control. Because like in the Bible, it says a good man's steps are ordered by the Lord. So even if it doesn't make sense to you as to why this is happening, it makes sense to God because he's ordering your steps. Ooh, that's a word. Ooh, that's a word. So I hope y'all received that. And that's the end of episode two of the 12 days of Christmas. <laughs> so let me go get him in bed. The big guy's waiting for me because we're watching Riches on Amazon Prime. We started that yesterday and we are hooked. We, uh, we watched two episodes yesterday. So I'm going to try to watch two more before we both fall asleep. And then... Prayerfully, my baby will be feeling better so I can edit this vlog for y'all and have it ready to be watched. So, hope y'all have a great one. I love y'all. And just send some prayers up for my little one to make sure he feels better. Thank y'all so much for all the birthday love. I got to say that. Thank y'all so much for all the birthday love. Love y'all so much. I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Bye.